Hello, maestros. This episode, I'll be showing you how to search for a variable within your variable by using regular expressions. All right, let's get started. Make a new macro here. We'll just call it send to server because that's the example that we're going to be using. Because when I finish a project, I need to copy that file and I move it to the server. Copy and paste to the server. But if your server is really organized, then it's going to take some time to, nav to navigate to all those subfolders to get to your file. So that's where we're going to use Keyboard Maestro to move the file for us. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to copy now. So we're going to copy that file from our local drive to our server drive, to our server. Now, what we want to extract from our variable here is the code of the project here because the path to our server will usually stay the same. You know, we've got the server and then the project title and then the username and the date. So what changes drastically that varies is our, our project code. So what we need to do is pull that out from our variable here. We need to pull this baby out. So let's go ahead and copy this and move over to this beautiful little website here where we can create our regular expression. So let's paste this in here and we can move over to our cheat sheet bring this up so we have a good idea of what we're doing all right so let's go ahead and highlight this so we have a good idea what's happening we want to pull out this string of text here so we can see we start with four digits now you might start with five digits or whatever just follow the cheat sheet you know all right so i got some nice little digits here so it's uh, backwards slash d i'm gonna go up here and go backwards slash d i have matched all of the digits but we don't want all the digits we want for for me i have four consecutive digits so we're going to do some squiggly brackets here enter the four now it will match or, or search for all of our strings that has four digits but we also want a space for for what i'm doing i have a space i got four letters after that and that's actually going to be this this word here because let me just show you backwards slash here we got four here uh, but it's word, but it's also it can also handle digits. That's why it's a W as opposed to an L. You know, it's just just how it is. Just go with flow. You know. All right. Next, I mean this this is pretty good for what we have. But what if like it has like more? I mean, more than one word. Well, we need to include this space in here as well, and that's where we're going to use our brackets. It's kind of like parentheses, you know, but we use brackets in regular expressions. And let's go ahead and delete this four here. So we need to change it over to one or more here. One or more, and that is our plus here. So plus is one or more. So let's change the four here to just a beautiful plus and change this over here to plus here as well. So right now it's matching everything that has start. The pattern is one or more digits followed by a space then it goes into the one or more words. But now we need to also include one or more spaces. So all we need to do is go in here, put a little space in, and we're good to go. That's all we need. That's all we need. Good. Yeah, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and copy this regular expression here. And then we're going to move it into our search, our search variable here. And let's paste it in. That's the regular expression that we're going to use. Let's go over to our control flow here, and that's going to be our for each action. Because what we want to do, the first thing we need to, do, need to do is extract that path from our local file. So we'll be using the for each action to pull out the finder selection, the path of the finder selection, and save that to a variable. We'll just save it to make one up here, send to server one. So the first thing is to do is going to save that path. And then we're going to get ready to copy it over. And then we're going to uh, extract that string first. So it's going to get that path, save it to ST1. So then we have that path in STS1. And then we can pull, pull the variable that we want and then save that to STS2. We'll make a new variable there. And that's pretty good to go. So now we can replace what we have here with the variables. So the first variable is the path STS1 one that is the path of our finder selection 
and then this will pretty much stay the same so all we really need to do is update this we're gonna put this as our SCS2 and the date I have a nice little code here so we don't have to worry about that date date copy that over okay paste it in okay very nice so don't don't worry don't worry. we don't have to make the folder every day okay we can have keyboard maestro do that for us so let's go ahead and make a file here new folder all right so it's going to make a nice new folder right there but what if the folder is already there well it would be nice to double check to make sure it's there before we just go making things so it's going to be if then condition it's going to be a, comp a path condition it's going to check if that folder exists if that folder exists then it's going to copy the file if the folder does not exist then it's going to make the folder then copy the file but it's always a good idea for these type of things to have a nice pause until right here so it's going to check to make sure the path exists already so the path condition here make sure it exists once it exists then it paces and then we're good to go do a nice little speaking action here a nice little notification here after it's all done so that we know that things are good to go all right let's go over to our server location here you see that there's nothing in here and let's go over to our local location and I'll just make a little duplicate of this so I'll show you what works with multiple files and then Kabumo. that's right Kabumo it makes the folder and copies the files over there you have it hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you next time